Hi, I'm Jay Clifford Talanda and today I'm gonna teach you on how to perform bag techniques. The bag technique is a tool by which the nurse during her visit will enable her to perform a nursing procedure with ease and deftness to save time and effort with end view of rendering effective nurse care to client. The public health bag is an essential and indispensable equipment of a public health nurse which she has to carry along during her home visits. It contains basic medication and articles which are necessary for giving care. First of all, let's talk all about the contents of our bag. Our public health bag contains the following materials. Paper lining, extra paper for making waste bag, plastic linen, apron, hand towel, soap and soap dish, digital thermometer, two pairs of scissors, surgical and bandage, two pairs of forceps, curved and straight, disposable syringes, hypodermic needles, cotton balls, sterile dressing or gauze pad, cord lamp, micropore plaster, tape measure, a pair of sterile gloves, and our solutions of betadine, 70% alcohol, hydrogen peroxide, and spirit of ammonia. We also have our PP apparatus and stethoscope, which is carried separately and are never placed in the bag. Upon arrival at the patient's home, we will place our bag in a table with a paper line to protect it and prevent the bag from being contaminated. The folded part must touch the table, must be the one touching the table. Then we will ask for a basin of water to perform our hand washing. Then we will open the bag and bring out our soap and hand towel to prepare for hand washing. We'll perform hand washing in order to prevent infection from the care provider to the client. So after hand washing, we will take out our apron from the bag and put it on the right side in order to protect the nurse's uniform. After putting our apron, we will put out all the necessary articles needed for the specific care to have them readily accessible. Then we will close the bag and put it in one corner of the working area to prevent contamination.
then we will proceed in performing the necessary nursing care treatment to give comfort and security and to hasten the recovery. So, as if, as if I'm, I'm caring for a client. Then after giving the treatment, we need to clean all the things that we used and then perform hand washing to protect the caregiver and prevent infection. We will clean this. Then we will again perform hand washing. After cleaning the equipment to be used and perform, after performing hand washing, we will open the bag and return the things. Then we will remove the apron. Holding it away from the person, which the soil side is in the folding and the clean side is out. That is in order to prevent contamination. Then we will place it again inside our bag. Then Hold our lining, our paper lining. This one. We'll fold it and put it back inside the bag. Just the same as the apron. The uh, side that touched the table will be inside, in inside of the fold, like that. So that is in order to prevent contamination. Here. Then we will take the record and have a talk with the client, write down all the necessary data that were gathered, observations, nursing, care, and treatment rendered. Give instructions for care of patients in the absence of the nurse. We'll also make an appointment for the next visit. It's either home or clinic, taking note of the date and time for follow-up, check-up, or care. That is all. Thank you for watching.